This chapter we have to break into everybody else's room. That vase looks like an octopus. I I don't know that I've ever thought that to myself. Look at it. Well. Looks like an octopus. A little. I mean, it's, There's an awful lot of blood imagery in this thing. It's not really Arteries, symmetric. veins. It ought to be relevant, but I'm not sure how. Mm -hmm. Why should it be relevant? Somebody just left it in front of the door. Yeah. Could it have been Gideon's for all we know? I never took fingerprints before, but I suppose it couldn't hurt. Uh, maybe Grace should have trained him. Yeah. So, they are kind of dumb about the way that they designed this, and as soon as we walk out, it's going to trigger... Uh, so we can see through to that Emilio's. to Emilio's room. This dumb waiter goes through to the next room but it's locked like we just had to open ours mm. so his is locked on his side I, I guess to prevent that <laughs> yes Monsieur Knight you do not go with the tour I did not go with the tour <laughs> no you are quick Jean oui certainement <laughs> this is obvious unfortunately it also makes the predicament I send the staff home there is no one here to prepare for you oh, or a past. No. Oh, that's all right, Johnny Babe. I've gone longer without repasting. It is possible, I am sure, monsieur. Especially from such a strong man as yourself. What? <coughs> but the Hotel Rennes Le Chateau is not a boot camp. I feel most horrible. Oh, don't sweat it. You are too kind, monsieur. Hey, Jean, dude. You know, I am feeling a bit peckish. Oh, I am so sorry. I will telephone the cook. She will simply have to miss her hip therapy. No, really. I can take care of myself. That is, if you don't mind me going into the kitchen, I can make a sandwich or something. Of course. But I am embarrassé, monsieur. Mortified. I apologize most profusely. Jean? Oui, monsieur? Get over yourself. Oui, monsieur. <laughs> right away. Let's ask Jean about the rooms. Say, Jean, I was wondering if you could tell me about the other guest rooms. Is Monsieur unhappy? Must show is peachy, thanks. But I was thinking Gracie and I might come back sometime. You know. Ah, I am most relieved. Truly, your room is one of the finest. Room 23, Monsieur Wilkes' room, is like your own. Then, in the middle of the hall, rooms 21 and 27 are a little bit smaller, oui? But they have the dumb waiter like your room and that of Monsieur Wilkes. So there are four rooms on the dumb waiter? Precisément. And in the front of the hotel are rooms 31 and 29. They are the best in the house. As large as your room, monsieur. But with the balconies. But no dumb waiter. No. These rooms, they get the room service. What about Mosley's room? Room 33? <laughs> it is a closet for the brooms, monsieur. <laughs> I would not recommend it. That sucks. Anyways. Monsieur, I thought all the guests oh were God. out this morning. What? Oh, that is hey there. Um, Seriously? Roxanne? <laughs> <laughs> I decided not to go, but don't mind me. Carry on. Yes, monsieur. Are you saying this fits some kind of stereotype? Anyway. Maybe a little. Once you leave the room, this process starts, and I don't, I don't think you have that much time to get down and ask Sean about that. So... I just showed it out of order. I, what we need to know is that Emilio's room, Bukele's room, and Wilkes's room are all on a dumbwaiter, but they're on different sides of the building, so we can hmm, only get I to Emilio's. Get into these other rooms today. Maybe Roxanne can help me out. Why don't you try asking her? I'm sure she'd be amenable to that. Tell her she don't have to put out the red light. Yeah, I don't. I don't know whether French women are actually named Roxanne very often. Sneak! Look, there's a sneak command. Oh, good. No point in sneaking into our own room. Uh, anyway, the other two rooms, twenty nine and thirty one, are Madeline and Lady Howard and Estelle's, and they do not have a dumb waiter. 
They do have a balcony, though. So if we want to... Oh, and we can't really break into Mosley's room. I don't even think she cleans it. Oh, poor Mosley. Yeah. And it looked like a, like he's being really slobbish. Like it was just shit everywhere. So it's a good thing. Anyway. Um, you don't really want to be hitting escape a lot during this segment. It's weird. The game isn't really timed most of the time like um, based on the actual seconds. If you hit the escape key, like that counts as a lot of time sometimes. I don't I don't really know how it scores hmm, that. I'd love to Can't sneak in while the card is blocking the door but once Roxanne tilts the thing to get her cleaning solution she's about to go clean in the bathroom so Gabriel will sort of hide here oh good yeah she can't possibly see you there no look there's a little tiny wall so she makes sure that the dumbwaiter is locked but she's not going to check it afterward so while she's cleaning the bathroom, which I guess she closes the door to do. She will saunter on over. Hey, she's only got seven rooms to clean. She's She's got a lot of time. She could, she'd want to get it over with. Well. Maybe, uh, anyway, just unlock that and then sneak back out of the room. And you have to do that for every single room. Sounds fun. Mm-hmm. So I'll just skip that. Um, in room 29, so here's what I mean. The, you can't always tell what's going to happen when you hit the escape key. Sometimes you think it'll just move Gabriel to what you told him to do. Other times it will skip the entire thing that you told him to do. Rather than just the time that it took him to walk. So this is the balcony. There's no dumbwaiter, but if we open the doors and go outside, you won't see it here because I hit escape. Anyway, so I, I, I've automatically... I need to get back in here. I better make sure the door won't lock behind me. Yes, we need to unlock the front door. And I guess it stays locked? I don't think there are hotel rooms like that, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. That's, just that's, walk through the car. It's fine. You just you just walk through. They play this music every single time. Hey, Lady Howard and Estelle actually sleep in the same bed. My. That's kind of weird. Is that is that a thing? Lesbians? No, I I don't. You know, I don't know if they ever imply that they're together. Why shouldn't they be lesbians? Well, why should they be? Maybe they're just both lonely and they hang out together. They can have an asexual, platonic uh, relationship. I guess, but it looks like they cuddle, so... No, see, they didn't have a one-bed room. Emilio switched with them, although they did agree to the switch. Maybe they just wanted the balcony. Mm. And they don't mind. It's a pretty big bed. It doesn't mean they have to snuggle. <laughs> this is Bukeli's room. You can't imagine how long this segment takes. And it seems like so much fun. Mm -hmm. At least it's gameplay. True. Maybe they felt like they were making up for the previous game. Get out of the room, you <laughs> idiot. I'm going to stand here. All right, we're done with that. So now it would be safe to go and ask John about all that stuff, but you, by that time, Roxanne will already be past Emilia's room, which is arguably the most important one to get to because he seems really freaking weird. Mm. Oh, and you can't just tell Gabriel to open the opposite door. You have to climb in. And then do that goes to Emilio's room. Yeah. yeah, why don't you go ahead and open it? Let's pop it open. 
All right, time to search through everyone's private belongings. Oh, joy. Is that a bunch of food or? Man, is that journal old? It makes the Ritter archives look like yesterday's news. Huh. I wouldn't have taken Emilio for a scholar. He has a very it's old It's written book. in Aramaic, I think. Can't read a word of it. Strange. Emilio travels with his own food. Looks vegetarian. Mm hmm Emilio has a picture of Jesus. I should try to get some prints off this stuff. Which is kind of weird. Kind of an odd thing for a Muslim to have around. I, I agree with that. Yeah, they're not, to Why? the best of my knowledge, real big on the Jesus thing. Why does Emilio have a picture of Jesus? <sighs> Clearly, there will be some fingerprints on this, right? Maybe he doesn't no have prints. fingerprints. Strange. With that glass plate, there should have been prints. Maybe he's very careful. Yeah, I would try, I would probably be careful about touching the glass personally. There's something under the pillow. Mm-hmm. What it's a piece it? of cloth. What's with that? It I looks really it. old. Maybe it's some kind of good luck charm. And that's a really weird thing to be what carrying What would I around. do with a piece of fabric? It Shove obviously it in your means pocket. a lot to the guy or he wouldn't have it under his pillow. What do you think? It's his blankie? Well, we can't steal things. Emilio doesn't carry yeah. much around, does he? He must watch the travel channel. We don't want them to know that we're breaking I already in. searched the I bed. Suppose. I was trying to put the pillow back, but I guess he won't. <laughs> That's dumb. So I guess he'll just come back and think that the maid left that yeah, like that? It's possible. Anyway, you don't I mean you don't get penalized for that or anything. Here's Emilio's second bed. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Maybe they are sleeping together. I don't I don't think they ever say so. Nothing. Nothing in this bed. Can't There's open that. There's a picture on it. Oh, me. Oh, God, you're such an obnoxious asshole. Mm hmm. Do travel's light. Nothing life. in here but a change of clothes. And nothing of any interest in the bathroom, so I'm not going to go in there. We could just walk out the door now, but what I'm fun would that be? I'm not going to because I need to get to the other dumb waiters. And the only way to get to the other dumb waiters, well, I I could just walk into the kitchen because Jean said it was okay for us to go into the kitchen. But you don't have to. Let's just get on the dumb waiter and ride that sucker down. I've never heard of a dumb waiter. Is that a normal thing? Um, I mean, it's a thing that like, exists. Like in actual places? Yeah, I think sometimes rich people have them, or like in a townhouse when you have the garage on the ground floor, you can put your groceries in it. Like, we used to, um, my family used to go to open houses in rich neighborhoods for fun on Sundays. And like, they had dumb waiters? Sometimes. One did. It was no like shit. a mansion-y type place and there was a dumb waiter to bring the groceries up from the garage to the kitchen. Okay. It was pretty cool. I would just make the cats ride it up and down. I don't think they would like that. No. I didn't say I would let the cats do that. <laughs> I would make the cats mm. do that. If nothing else, it would teach them to like climb rope. That's Buccelli's door. Mm -hmm. Let's go into Wilkes' room first, though. What you got going on? There's this big, stupid piece of machinery. It's Wilkes' big machine. He left out the stupid. Well, maybe it's not stupid. Wilkes' laptop. Must kind of get lost on a lap like he is. Um. Nothing. What? Um. That's the, uh... Prop it open theory of unpacking. I like it. Nothing in there but dirty laundry. Guy's okay, been here like two days. Why does he have so much dirty laundry? Yeah, maybe he sweats a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Mm hmm. So there's. Not the springs are a bit overworked, but other than that. Is that another 
comment about Wilkes? Hey, that I looks guess. just like the one in our room. There must have been a sale at the local Kmart. Uh huh. The only real thing of interest here is on this desk. He's obviously working on something. No, nope, that's not He's it. Obvious. It's that. There's a letter on the desk. Mm hmm. It's from Metaphysical Books. Looks like Wilkes is getting published. Yeah. Maybe he's not as dumb as he looks. Basically, nah. just says that if his theory pans out, that they'd love to publish his, his book. I, uh. I don't know. Exciting. Yeah. That doesn't help us much. Mm. Doesn't it? If anything, it maybe exonerates him. A Guy stuff. Him. At least we know Wilkes isn't a woman in drag. Mm-hmm. Uh, if he came here because he's working on a book, then he's really working on a theory, and he's probably not here to help the kidnappers, right? Probably. Probably. I mean, it could just be serendipitous. Hmm. It's a floor plan for some cathedral, huh? Double beds for Bukele, too. Hotel stationery. Everyone's got it. They have two rooms with two beds, but they don't book Estelle and... Well, well, no, they, they did. did yeah, they did. Let's check out Bukele's drawer. Here's something kind of interesting. <laughs> well, hello there, Padre. He has a priest's costume hmm. outfit. It's a priest shirt and collar. Does that mean he really is well, a priest? looks like Bucelli's got a hitherto undisclosed profession. Either that or he's really kinky. It's not that kinky. Is you it? must be thinking of a certain New Orleans a case little. of mine. Huh. It's a stub from a train ticket. Okay. It's a stub from a train ticket. Where did Bukele come from? If you look at the train ticket, it will. It says that he came from Rome. And there are a lot of priests in Rome. I've heard. Yeah. I should try to get some prints off this stuff. And, in fact, there is a... Rome is one of the places you can come from. Naples isn't. He said he came from Naples, and there is no Naples route. Something that's quite easily verified, so I don't know why he would lie about it. Yeah, that's pretty dumb. Unless he, I guess he never imagines that Gabriel would bother to investigate. Yeah, there's a print. All right, use the tape to pick the print up, put it in your inventory. Got it. We'll file that away. I don't know why we need that. Um, I think we've gotten everything we need. Nothing interesting here. I think that it's probably not relevant. All right, jeez. Snippy. No other... Nothing. Not even moth drop-ins. Did you want some? Yeah. He seemed really disappointed about that. Let's just leave outside out the door. I guess it locks behind us. We don't need to get back in there. So those rooms are not very interesting. The next two are a bit more intriguing. This is Madeline's room, I think. Do you think she'd notice if I snuck in there? Y yes. Yeah, probably. Yes, I believe she would notice that. Probably. Why would you want to? Like. Well, I guess she wanted to, to. I don't. I don't. She. She thought he was cheap, though. God damn! What's in that case? I knew she was packing, but this is ridiculous. Where are the rest of the guns? Either France is a lot more dangerous than I thought, or Madeline is over-equipped. Hmm. So with that, let's try printing her gun. There's something on the barrel. Yes. She did leave a print on her gun. Got it. So why the hell is she so heavily armed? It looks like there was like a fucking rifle butt slot. Where the hell is the rifle? 
Maybe it's in her crappy car. Is she like a fucking assassin? There's this map in her tracker. I'm not sure what that is exactly, but I think it has something to do with tracking your position. Mm-hmm. I bet you Gracie would love to have a copy of this. I'll have to bring it back, though. So we can scan that into Sydney and return it before they come back. Hmm. Nice taste in clothes. I'm glad you approve. Nothing interesting on the desk. And I don't think anything interesting in this bathroom. But, you know. Oh, look, there's unmentionables. Mm. I think it's called Gilding the Lily. Okay. Meaning that she does not need makeup? Maybe if Madeline were in the bed. <sighs> Gabriel. I didn't think I was clicking that. I it was, yeah, I thought it was the closet. I thought it was the door. All right. I bet. Didn't want to waste those clever entendres. <laughs> I don't th Is there a way to have a hotel door that doesn't lock when you close it? If it were like a pretty crappy hotel. I'm thinking that old bag belongs to Estelle. Not unlike Lady Howard herself. Uh -huh. See, she's a bag. Yes. The hell, where did that come from, anyway? Calling a woman a bag? I don't know. They've already Maybe it's unpacked. like Cockney rhyming slang for hag or something. Hag? Yeah. Oh, I didn't think I realized that it meant hag. I thought it meant just meant any woman of some Boy, age. Talk well, about I don't know, I'm speculating what, wildly. Do they think someone's going to break in here? Indeed. What's up with that? Yeah, Grace will kill me if I don't copy these. I'll have to put him back, though, or Lady Howard will scream bloody hell. Same deal. Women. Women. Same deal with the map. We need to scan that and put it back. So Gabriel will have to use a computer. Oh, it's one of those clever all-in-one. Oh, my God, I hate you. I hate him so much. It's not Tim Curry's fault. That those the look like so Lady bad. Howard's clothes. She's got kind of a fruit salad in a blender thing going, <laughs> doesn't she? <laughs> oh, it's... Yeah. Is there a baby in there? Nope, no holes in the oh. case. Well, that just it's means not... there's not a live baby in there. Well, no, the, the box he saw actually had holes in it. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't have the baby we're interested in. It could have a different... Oh, how about this puzzle? A hand mirror. Now, let's see. Who would that belong to? Uh, any person? Yeah, uh, like, almost literally anybody. I guess he means Lady Howard? That's not the puzzle I'm referring to, although we will get Lady... How the hell do we know it's Lady Howard's print? Couldn't they... Yep, each there's have a print. All that? right, someone's been gripping this baby. Yep. Why am I not surprised? Because, because it's a mirror. That's what it's for. That's actually its function. You know who has mirrors? Tube of Everybody. Yep. Suppuration H. Most people. Right. I mean, okay. So All right. Oh, jeez. Okay. Ew. I just took that. I just took that hemorrhoid cream. She needs that. She has hemorrhoids. That's hey, just rude. I, I need it for something. Guess what I need it for? Hemorrhoids, I hope. Nope. Okay. So, I need to get into the Abby's, Abbey's office. We opened the window earlier, but we only opened it like a little bit. And look what happens if you try to open this all the way so that Gabriel can fit. Can't can't do it. It's stuck. Cause the wood is swollen. <laughs> and it has roids. And it has stuck. hemorrhoids. <sighs> the wood I must hate be it swollen. when the wood gets hemorrhoids. Okay. I don't believe that this is how this would work. God. I'm, I'm, I'm just, Somebody made that sound. I'm just throwing this out there. I don't believe that hemorrhoid cream would 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 allow us to open this window. I can't believe that worked. Yeah. 
You and me both, brother. Abby's office is rather snaid. Now, who would I know play chess with around here? Jean, perhaps? Oh, no, monsieur. Not my queen. Hmm. I don't recognize him. Uh, we can't... He has lots of books on Rennes Le Chateau, but they're all in French. We Just can't... as well. I don't have time to read anyway. We cannot go into the Abbey's house. I think house. that goes back to his little house in the cemetery. Cozy. Nah, I don't think I'd find what I'm looking for back there. Not everybody inherits a castle. The other door goes to the church, and we're not interested in that right now anyway. We the can church go... is boring. We can go there anytime. In this drawer, this is a dirty trick right here. I can't exactly read it, but it appears to be about the European Union. Uh, so what was in that drawer? Just that magazine, right? Nope. You need to, like, look down and then scroll forward oh and you'll see cigarettes. Oh, I know. Imagine that finding was not those there in before. a French man. No, it oh. was, but you couldn't see it from that angle at all. Bullshit. The automatic angle made it impossible to see that. So you can print the Abbe's uh, cigarette case, and this is a really easy print to miss. Yep. Prints of plenty. Remember that the, the chapter will progress without us doing everything. But if you want to get all the points, you need to figure that out. I, I don't think that the... Uh, Separation H on the windowsill is any smarter than the cat hair puzzle. <sighs> Once again, I, I I know everyone bags on that, and look, it's it's a, not a good puzzle. At least it's less elaborate. I. Well, I mean, how long did that really take? I I cannot imagine that I would have thought of using that cream on the door. Yeah. I I just don't. I don't think it would have occurred to me to take it because that just seems no. really mean. No. She's gonna have an itchy butthole. Oh yeah, I don't think you can put it back. That's so mean. Uh, I don't think I tried. Maybe you can. Yeah, right. She has a lot of it too. So. Yeah, that was the economy tube. Well, she's rich, right? Mm -hmm. I guess. Oh, this is real interesting scan all of the items into the computer where is the scanner <laughs> like it's making noises it's, it's the scanner okay don't you see it nope oh yeah, there's a scanner over over an invisible scanner maybe it's on the laptop uh, okay. So scan in all of the licenses and all the fingerprints, and then you have to like assign them. Like you get a ton of points for like being like, this Madeline fingerprint goes to Madeline. Be because that's that's how that works. It's not something a retard. Excuse me. That's not somebody who something that somebody who is mentally challenged would. Uh, Thing to do. I still do not have confidence that that is Lady Howard's print. It is because logic. This part is boring. It's really boring. I think that map probably would not fit into the scanner. Yeah. But it's a magical scanner, so it did. Oh, you don't know how magical it is. Mm. We're about to scan something that uh, I uh, again I, I I just don't believe would work. You can see what you think about it. Here are the parch the oh there are two parchments for, that we got and he won't scan them together I guess because game play. This by itself uh, like doubles the time of the game. He, there can't just be like an option for scan all the shit that I collected. That would be nice. We have one other thing that we would like to use with the computer, but it's an audio tape. 
So I guess they have a tape machine somewhere. Sweet. All right. What? Wait, what? Did he just scan that tape? Usually it doesn't work that way. No, it's just fine. He scanned the magnetic tape. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mm, think that's it. So now we can translate that tape. Oh, but it wants us to... Gracie entered these last night. The suspects are all entered here, and so you go through and uh, link each piece of information to the suspect, and you get a bunch of points for doing this, too. More fun. It's... It's, it's like a job. It's, it's like stupefying. you're doing work in an yeah. office. And not efficiently. Like, there's no drag and drop or anything. It's like, go to the suspect, go to the file. It doesn't even leave the file list open. Click on the thing, link to suspect. You can enter notes. You can type whatever you want in that box, and it'll save it. Can you type? Dick, 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 yeah, dick, 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 definitely. Dick, 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 dick. I assume that that's what most people did. Hey, Right. Pepperoni and cheese. Pepperoni and cheese. Right. Or however you pronounce C H E A S E. <laughs> that is the dumbest joke. And yet. <laughs> so many people get that joke. Yes. Like, honestly, way more than should. If you don't get that joke, you can just get the hell off my lawn. <laughs> we don't have any information on Estelle, so there's nothing to link to her. Because, of course, that fingerprint must belong to Lady Howard. Yes. Nothing on Larry Chester either. Now let's translate what the Abbe was saying on the telephone, which With we our recorded. scanned audio tape. Yes, French to English, and translate in. Very cool. Very I'm starting cool. to like this computer. Mm-hmm. Allô, c'est Arnaud à l'appareil. Il faut que je parle au grand maître. Mais bien sûr que c'est urgent. Allô, je regrette vous déranger, monsieur, mais je viens d'avoir la visite plutôt pénible de deux hommes de Prince James. Ils prétendent donc qu'on a enlevé le fils de Prince James. Ils disent sans avoir suivi les kidnappeurs à la trace jusqu'à la gare de Cuisa. Et ils sont blancs convaincus que nous y sommes pour quelque chose. C'est bien ce que je leur ai dit. Mais je, je voulais vous l'entendre dire vous-même. Mais alors qui a... Mais c'est nous qu'ils accusent. Ils menaçant de boycotter les pourparlers tant que le bon bain ne leur aura pas été retourné. Je n'en sais rien, je vous jure. Ça n'a peut-être que des ennemis personnels du prince. C'est peut-être les Anglais. Je m'en occupe de mon côté. Au revoir. Hmm. The Abbe certainly doesn't seem to think that he has the child. Seems like he would know. Maybe that was a show for us. Uh... No. I don't know. It wouldn't be altogether shocking if that were the case. It would be annoying, but not shocking. Hmm. Ugliest chair ever. You don't like that chair? It looks like poop dipped in mustard. Or mustard dipped in poop. Mustard dipped in poop. I guess you would dip the poop in the mustard. Yes, that's probably what you would do. <laughs> Let's put Madeline's map back. Didn't we leave that drawer open? Whatever. <laughs> continuity oh, problem clever. or part of the mystery? Part of the continuity problem. Yeah. And for good measure, I'll lock the door on my way out. I don't think you need to do this. I guess they just, if you don't, they just think that the maid is incompetent and can't remember to lock the goddamn doors. How did he just get out? No, the door locks one way. Oh, it has like a flippy whatever. Yeah. Okay. And amazingly, they do not make you individually put these parchments back. Oh, thank goodness. I know. 
her small mercy. So convenient. Very small. Pretty small. Oh, put her separation. Oh. Her butt. Her butt. I don't even know if it's still in the inventory, is it? They can't have used it all. <laughs> Monsieur Knight, there you are. What? Roxanne, she has been telling me things most troubling. Oh, no, I you see, I just... Uh, grab her. <laughs> I, I just got mixed up and thought that my room was... She says the kitchen, it shows no sign of sandwich making. Oh, yeah. See, I couldn't find the mayo, and <laughs> well, you know a sandwich just ain't a sandwich without the white stuff. <laughs> Men, so lost without a woman's touch. Come with me, monsieur. I have finished my cleaning, and now I make for you the big sandwich, yes? Hmm, well, I oh suppose my. I understand. A nibble or two. How big are we talking here? Like a... Hmm. Like a like a six foot long sandwich? Because that's a big sandwich. I don't I don't want a sandwich that big, I don't think. It sounds like too much sandwich. It's a lot of sandwich. 